as you know that I came from US. When I took my flight from New York to Montreal Airport, in the airport, my daughter was hungry. She wants to eat something. I was searching through different food store, and I had to run around a couple of store to get the food for my daughter. Because different store, the food they are selling, it's like a food like substances, what we all think those are the food. And finally, I went to a food court. I found they have nice salad, some bean, lentil, baked salmon. I was able to buy some food for my daughter. This is the situation that we have. In the society that we have, <clears throat> we are all struggling what should we eat, what not to eat, what is the right food. So in today's presentation, I will be presenting you my decade-long study and research on healthy life and scientific landscape of healthy living and lifestyle. First of all, as we all know that we are in the crisis of healthcare. Our most of the income are going for our disease. But our health getting worse and worse and worse. The hospitals are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Look at it in our community. 70% of our North American people are either overweight or obese. And more than 50% people are chronically ill. And they are taking medication on the daily basis. If you look at the data of the disease, it's very scary. 50% American dying out of heart attack. And one third of us are going to be died in cancer. Imagine the people who are sitting in here, half of us going to die heart attack. And one third of us going to die in cancer. Over 37 million people are dying of cancer every year around the globe. It's like, it's like full the country of Belgium, country of Syria, and half of the Australia. This whole population is going to be wiped out every year by disease of cancer. And heart disease is getting worse. Diabetes, if you look at the diabetes, 50% <clears throat> of our adults are diabetic or pre-diabetic. And if you look at the 50 years ago, diabetes was only 3%. Now, one third people are going to die of cancer. And diabetes, right now, 50% community are adult are diabetes. So, in early 19th century, diabetes was only 0.0023%. And now people getting older, they expect that they are either get cancer or diabetes or blood pressure or they get a older, they will get heart attack. It's like, you know, pretty common, it's like part of their life. So, this is the time we need to wake up. We need to think, what, how can we take care of our health? Look at our young kids. They lost their privilege, what they like to eat. When I was a kid, I, had, I didn't have to worry about what, what I'm going to be eating, because I was able to whatever you know, food that I have. Now, the kids are allergic to this food, that food, and this medicine, that medicine. So they lost the privilege of eating and the, 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 the normal life. So today's talk, I'll be showing you <clears throat> the epidemic of disease that we have and where it's coming from. How can we get out of this disease? That's my purpose of uh, talk today. 
and then I will give you some housekeeping. How can we you maintain your health? How can you take home? How can I take home you know, messages for you to be healthier um, day by day? So, and definitely I will have QA. If you have any question, feel free to ask me at the end. <clears throat> First of all, look at this food. We all like this food, na? We love it. It's yummy. It's not our fault. The f millions of dollars spent to make this food yummy. And if I ask someone, uh, if I ask you all about this food, so tell me why this food uh, is not good for us. It is not good for us. So I'd like to ask you, why you think that this is not good for us? Uh, too much carb, right? And what else? This side? Too much taste. Taste is good. Salmon is yummy. Salmon is you know, good food too. Oil? oil is, okay, so oil is a problem. So oil is not the right type of oil. Yeah. Actually, he gave you an answer. Like oil, oil. So, oil is good because if you look at our ancient time, people used to eat oil with a bread, even if you look at our prophet history, they used to eat oil every, you know, every single meal. So oil is not a problem. Oil is the one, the fat that human body need. So the, the thing is the synthetic oil. We made the oil synthetically with a dye and bleach on it. That oil is a problem. So if you get the oil, but the right oil, which is the true you know, oil substances. This oil that you have, you know, uh, vegetable oil, canola oil, this is not an oil. It's like an oil-like substances. And what else? You said too much carb. Too much carb is not a problem. Too much carb is a problem for those person who are struggling with overweight or kind of struggling with the diabetic, and diabetes or cancer. Or someone cannot handle the carb. Someone body cannot process the carbohydrate molecule into the energy. That is a problem. Otherwise, carb is not a problem. So the, let me see a few other problems I can show you. Uh, like for a fry. When you fry a meat, it becomes class one carcinogens. Like HSCA, HSHCA. These are called class one carcinogens according to declared by according to American National Health Institute. You can Google it, how the, the burned meat, like barbecue and then, and then baked meat. Baked meat is okay if you do in a low temperature. Also, um, also the burning meat that we culture, the fry meat, it makes carcinogens. We should be stay away from that, this meat part. And the rice uh, and the bread. The bread is a problem because nowadays bread is not a bread anymore. The wheat genetically modified. When they modified the wheat gene, this wheat is not the actual wheat that God created for us to eat. So when I go to talk somewhere, I say, whatever God created, take it. Whatever human being change it, they modified it, don't take it. The bread was good. We modified it. We, make, we messed it up because you know, God is the one who knows what is good for me or bad for me. And we modified it, we made it bad, right? So, uh, and the third thing is oil, and the, you see some, uh, some, some vegetable in there, some plants. So plant is the best food, but the way we process it, we heat it up and fry it up, and then, and the long time process, the vitamins and minerals get dye. They get, and enzymes, they get messed up. So, we're expecting that we're getting vitamin, mineral, we're expecting that we're getting you know, phytonutrient, but they, are not, they don't stay for a long time and you heat for a long time. You see? So if we whole day eating pasta, cereal, biryani, and then chicken fry, or like you know, sandwich, burger, cereal, it have zero nutrient. Because nutrient is different one human body need, and we're eating pasta, cereal, cookie, biryani, and pastry, and cake, and sandwich, and burger, and then you know, cake, cookie, uh, biscuit, whole day, so much food we ate, even we got zero nutrient. Because we process the food, it's not food anymore. It's like a food-like substances, as I said earlier. 
And then I'm going to research the, the top you know, um, killer disease, the top high, you know, top five disease coming from that this processed food, when you're modifying our food. And like the carb, the mostly we try to eat, to enjoy, to any party, anywhere you have. The carb we process so much, human body doesn't know what the carb is. We come to our body, body cannot process it. That put into the fat cell, or they put it as a you know, glycogen in the liver. So it's messing up our system when you when you're modifying our carb or other foods. And look at this data. When you process food, high processed food, then people dying of more with a high processed food, people dying of more with a top disease. And less processed food, and death rate is less. So it's directly proportional. You process more, you get more, you know, um, like epidemic of disease. You get more disease like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease, and autoimmune disease. And how that work? How is that? Look at that. When you eat a processed food, like a sandwich, like everything is processed, you might think, Dr. Hawk, I see there's some, some lettuce on there. This lettuce is not a lettuce. It's like, it, it, it put it on herbicide, insecticide, pesticide. It's not a lettuce. It's taking a bunch of chemicals with that lettuce. And other than that, you have a meat. That's meat from the cow. Cow fed antibiotic. And how much antibiotic cow take? Just go look for, look for it. Huge amount of antibiotic they put on the cow to get it bigger, 600 pound, and then that antibiotic come into the cheese and, and butter and or meat, they come into us. Look at the bread. Bread came from wheat, wonderful. Our prophets and sisters used to eat wheat, they were healthy. But 1980, the Dr. Norman Bouleg, he got Nobel Prize for modifying wheat. After that, we love the sweet because it grow faster, quicker, more wheat, yummier, a lot of gluten, gluten become more. And then this wheat is not a wheat anymore. And this not only wheat, it's a processed wheat. It's a whiten. When you whiten a wheat, it lost the top two layers, which is endosperm and then other part is fiber and toxin. It's like only calorie left. So you see, you're enjoying a sandwich, He's thinking, oh, I got my salad, I got my meat, uh, protein, I got my carb. No, he got zero. And that extra calorie raising insulin. And that insulin making more fat cell. That insulin making you more hunger hormone. Then you quickly get hungry, give me more food. Then other signs, it came out that you eat the junk food, or junk food is not a junk food, junk food is a junk. So eat a junk, and then that junk also make a excessive um, hunger hormone called ghrelin. So you're gonna get hungry quickly. The other signs saying that your body get messed up on you because body need nutrient, you eat in the cereal in the morning, lunch pasta cookie and, you know, uh, and then biryani, you didn't get a nutrient. In the lunch time, your body before lunch time, body say, I didn't get any nutrient. You just gave me calorie. And then give me more food. So we put in more no biryani, more you know, meat and bread. It's just messing our system. So what happened at the end up? And our body get zero nutrient, body get malnutrient, malnutrition. And look at the data. More than 50% American are mineral deficient, as well as fatty acid deficient. Fatty acid means fat molecule when you eat that convert by lipase enzyme go to the fatty acid that's body take as a fatty acid format so those fatty acid we we are deficient of how come so uh, it's got a f toxic fat so we're not getting lactic uh, um, you know fatty acid that we need we don't get nutrient that body needs to you know continue its, its system so day by day, deficient, deficient of nutrient and then, uh, and then fatty acid and protein that our building block, we are getting sick and day by day, we are developing all the disease. What happened? Too much excess calorie that we are taking, instead of food, we're just taking calorie, right? That's what I, I've been talking about. That calorie come to our body and make, as a, make us fat. And as you see, so like a healthy man, taking this food and that get fat. 
and because of the liver because extra calorie going to the liver right away liver gets toxicated toxicated and liver gets fat and when liver gets bad liver gets liver cirrhosis and that's going to make you this situation all the welcoming all the disease because it's like a liver is like a bodyguard liver is like a manager of the body liver doesn't work properly too much calorie too much toxic molecule because every food nowadays come in with a tons of extra molecule with the metals comes the preservative comes with a you know steroid hormone antibiotic it's like um, and, and and sugary food everywhere you have to they have to put some sugar you go to Starbucks, the best, you know, the, the best healthy food. I, when I go travel, I like to take some Starbucks, you know, with a hot chocolate. And with, to get some, you know, milk on it, no, it's, they don't have organic milk. An option is I have a soy milk or, or um, almond milk. And they have a sugar 10%. I said, what? I can I lost the privilege of eating outside. So... What do you have to do? In this time, we have to know a couple of things. I'm, I brought for you only five things today. I came from the United States to Canada to, 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 with the five things only. What are those? Human body regeneration. How this Mr. Ahmed sitting here, or Mr. David, so, or Mr. Mark, uh, what's your name? Bro? Yes. Zaid. So Mr. Mr. Zaid here sitting, so he is going to be new Mr. Zaid within one year. So he need to understand this first thing first, which is body regeneration. And second thing is essential food. What human body need to eat? What human body look for to nutrify? What the body tells us, hey, nutrify me what, with what? So I'll be talking quickly what is exactly food we need to eat. And third thing is body microbiomes. In, our, in the history of, um, if you go to our uh, enshrined time, or 19, before 1906, the real treatment. People, you go to doctor, they're gonna give you some natural medicine, you're done. But nowadays, you go to doctor, they're gonna give you some synthetic chemical medicine, poisoning your body, and producing 10 more disease, you see? Because every single chemical you put in your body, that is gonna be making, that is gonna be affecting every organ of your system. And, produ and, and organs give affected, who are you? Nothing but organs, full of organs, combination of multiple organs. And if your organs get affected by those synthetic chemical or, or medicine or you know, colorful juice, whatever you say, that makes organ affected, that is gonna get your disease. So we didn't talk about microbiomes. So microbiomes means as a human body have a microbiomes. So um, how many microbiomes you have? A? Trillions. And then fourth thing is digestion. Now digestion is a big problem. We eat food, we get tired. We eat food, we are, we are sick. We eat food, we don't get energy. So something gap in there, that is the digestion. The last thing is toxicity build up in our body. When body doesn't work properly, toxicity is gonna build up. And I'll be talking about that. And so first thing is body regeneration. So how that work? So for instance, when you eat food, what do you think? Uh, we try to count calorie. Mm, I need 2,000 calorie per day, I took 100, now 1,000, then 500. Body doesn't like this math. Body doesn't go by like fuel, no. Food is not our fuel that we counting how many miles I will go, how much fuel I need, it's not like that. Whatever we eat, that is our body. For instance, Mr. Zaid here, he is made of one to 10 trillion cells. Suppose he's a 10 trillion cell person. So this 10 trillion cell he has in your body, and this cell is the his unit of his body. This cell made of um, protein, first building block, then glued up by minerals. Minerals are more than 63, about you know, 94 up to. So it depends on what mineral he needs. And then glued up by, uh, and then glued up by mineral and made cover periphery, which is called cell membrane, by fat. So we're trying to, you know, hate the fat, but fat is the one making the fat, fat, your, your cell membrane. So look at that. When you're eating the food, that's how you're making your body. Because, because, so Mr. Zayed came here uh, 10 minutes ago, and after he came in, he came with it, you know, uh, 10 trillion body cells. 
So within 10 minutes, maybe he only lost maybe 20,000 cells already died from his body. That means every moment, every moment, thousands of you know, cells are constantly dying, keep dying, keep dying. And same amount of cell is forming. Look at the image that I have. You, this is your body, constantly regenerating. So how the cell is forming, depending on what did you eat today? What did you eat yesterday? What, how is your homeostasis level? How are you feeling? How is his social connection? How is his, his temper? How he's connecting with his loving one? How his you know, microbiomes are doing? You see, everything together t giving him idea how healthy cell he can make. For instance, he is, someone is very health, unhealthy, very sick. No problem, because the sick cell is going to die in every moment. Healthy cell is going to develop. So put the right ingredient. Put the right, as I said, three things you need, right, to make a cell, primarily. Protein, minerals, and fat. So put the healthy protein, healthy mineral, and healthy fat that will develop the healthy cell. The unhealthy cell or disease cell is going to go away. You see? So if you have a disease, no problem. It's going to go away. Put the healthy things. And then look at the food. Every food have its specific quality, specific types of ingredient, like a, like a mineral, like a phytonutrient, like a vitamin. That makes your body, and that makes you healthy or unhealthy. If you are healthy, you should not be excited about You can do whatever you can do. No, you have no privilege, because you have no right poisoning yourself. You have no right to, mal, to malnutrify yourself. You have to put the right ingredient so that you can get back, continue your health. If you're sick, no problem. Put the right thing, this is going to go away. It's so simple as it is. So, and um, look at this. For instance, you have a you know, uh, uh, liver problem, or you have a skin problem. You cut your skin. This skin should be, cut, should be you know, healed 100% by one month or 28 days. Because by 28 days, our skin get changed. Our, our eye get changed by three days. Haven't you seen someone have eye surgery? By three days, eye got better. Why? Because eyes change by three days. You get brand new eye in three days. So I got a liver problem. My doctor told me that it's going to take three years. That time I was still on the school, and uh, before I go to medical school. And then, um, that time I was learning the science. I was in a uh, no, uh, PhD school, University of Wisconsin. And then I told, uh, I said that, no, my liver, I'll get a brand new liver after six weeks. How come my liver will take three years to heal? <coughs> and six weeks, I myself put the right ingredient on myself. My liver got, I got a brand new liver. I have no liver problem. I checked uh, exactly after six months. My wife got shocked. How come it is possible? This is so true that you made it. And it worked. So um, that's how it is. You put a healthy thing, it's going to make it healthy. You put unhealthy things, you're going to get an unhealthy body. That's your choice, ball in, in your coat, how you deal with it. What you're going to eat, how you feel, how it is social, social connection, everything. Second thing is, what is the food you need to know, right? To get your right body, as I've been talking about. Right food uh, is, for, um, is, is, is not known to us nowadays. We're thinking breakfast have to be cereal, or bread and, uh, bread and uh, some uh, waffle, or something. And lunch have to be chicken and rice, um, and, and some salad in the corner. You know? So why that happened? Because all the research in the last few decades sponsored by food industries, junk food, not food industry. They're, the, they're not food, junk food industries. And junk food, you should not call food. Junk food is a junk. Anyway, that's my definition, by the way. So these junk food industries sponsoring our food research, our scientific research, everything are messed up. They, they cherry pick. They pick and choose what they're trying to you know, explore to us. So the truth is not known to us. We think cereal is the best food we can eat. If you go, if you go TV commercial, you can see they have been talking about the how cereal is so great. You get fiber. Just kidding. It's not a fiber. Just, they're just kidding with you. It's not true. Fiber doesn't stay when you when you the way it processed. It get completely wiped out all the fiber, all the nutrients. 
just pure sugar, <coughs> just pure sugar. And I heard some, one of my patients told me that uh, her doctor suggested this type of cereal is good for diabetes. So it's a very big problem in the society that we are in. So when you, some scientists have been trying to disclose the truth, but our, our industry don't like it. They don't, they don't take the food, they take a part of it. The cherry pick, whatever good for their business. So you have to help ourselves to get out of this epidemic, to get out of this situation. And so right food is two, one is micro and macronutrient. So micronutrient, you see the micronutrient is kind of uh, like plant, fruits, and salt, and vegetables, and that's called micro. Macro means the rice, you know, uh, macro means three, carbohydrate, protein, and fat. And micro, vitamins and minerals. So macro, macro means you need more. Micro means you need a small amount, but it's more essential than macronutrient. So macronutrients coming from uh, plant-based whole food um, diet. And then, for instance, carbohydrate. Someone saying that carbohydrate is too much is not good for you. Yes, it is not going to be good for you if you have some health problem. Then you take uh, vegetable carbohydrate, plant-based carbohydrate, because plant-based carbohydrate has uh, glucose. Whatever you take, this or this, both will convert into the glucose. You just need energy. You don't need rice or bread. You need energy, you need glucose to survive. That you can take the plant-based if you have a health problem. Also, if you get plant-based, look at that. Plant-based, you get a lot of benefit. Every single plant has its own benefit. One broccoli has a 1,000 phytochemical. One strawberry has a more than 700 phytonutrient. But you get bowl of chicken and biryani, zero nutrient. What are you gonna choose? So that's the one we are in. And if you get uh, you know, such a yummy, colorful, that process, they have tons, it comes with tons of sugar. And not only sugar, it comes with preservative, it comes with uh, other ingredients like uh, makes you um, like a preservatives and metals, and it comes with a uh, non-organic, with a hormonized and antibiotic and steroid uh, cheese and milk. So you need to be careful with that. And that makes insulin resistance. And you get insulin resistance, you get, you're welcoming all the disease. That is a big thing you need to keep in mind if you don't get the right food. So, and if you need sugar, get the fruit sugar. So, and fruit sugar have not only sugar, it has a, look at that, fiber, it has a vitamin, mineral, antioxidant, phytonutrient, and many more. All the micronutrients are there. So don't go f you know, cereal in the, you know, for, for your fiber, you know, so like that. And a lot of people even doesn't know what the fiber mean. Fiber only found in a plant-based product. I was eating such a you know, big scientist, you know, you know, he's an IT scientist. He was explaining how his beef has a, so much fiber. And he doesn't, he doesn't have any clue what he's talking about. That's, most of the people are like that nowadays. We think fiber means something soft or something. I don't know what they think. Fiber only from plant-based whole food diet is a fiber. And, and you need vitamin. And vitamins you need uh, many types. Vitamin B itself has a more than 20 times, 20 types. So, and C, D, E, F, K, S, F, P, H, there are lots of types. And, and vitamin fat soluble are A, D, E, F, K. This fat soluble means you have to have a fat intake if you don't have fat intake, they will not be absorbed to the body. That's why we are, most of the American are, most of the American are vitamin D deficiency, as well as K. Why? We don't eat fat. If we eat fat, we eat with a hormonized and antibiotic full and tons of you know, extra chemical in the fat. And fat get modified. It's not a fat anymore. It's like a, you know, because uh, when it, uh, someone got heart disease, they checked it. Those kind of you know uh, fat they took, they took the fat molecule from their body and they, they found that their omega three, omega six is not a pure omega three, omega six is not a pure one. So you have to get the right fat <coughs> to get vitamin absorbed, right fat to detox our brain because fat has a lot of good options. It detox our brain, producing hormone, giving energy, healing the wound. 
So fat is the one we need to absorb, do all the things as well as absorbing the vitamin. So among the minerals, the more I will be, I just mentioned the names, but I want you to remember calcium is the number one thing. Iron, number second thing you need. Right away, because of the calcium, too much joint pain today. You know, look at the, how many chairs in there. They cannot, you know, prostate because they have knee problem. And population are suffering, most of the population are suffering with a kind of, uh, um, what is called, iron problem. And because of iron problem, what happening, our, you know, we get anemic. Why iron problem? Because we are not taking vitamin C. If you don't have vitamin C, this calcium iron will not go to your body. And what is vitamin C? We're thinking that, oh, I've been taking my orange juice, had vitamin C. No. Vitamin C doesn't stay more than seven days. You have to get the fresh plant, fresh guava, fresh mango, fresh orange, fresh lemon to get vitamin C. Then you can get out of the, all the joint pain. Vitamin D, we live in, uh, you, are, you, you guys are in Canada, uh, US as well. Uh, United States, um, and the, I know the you know about 70% population vitamin D deficient, because Canada should be more. I see you know the way people walking, but I was in Montreal. I loved it. Montreal people are healthier than uh, Toronto. What happened in Toronto? I don't know. People here are not like you know as health cautious like in Montreal. So you need to get out of the zone, get yourself, help yourself. You know, so vitamin D is vital. But without vitamin D, brain not gonna work. Your energy, you'll lose your energy. You will, you'll, you'll, your immune system will not work. So that need things need to be uh, taken care of. And vitamin K is the one you need to transfer all the cholesterol to the body that you need. And then vitamin B12 only found in a animal fat. You might think, oh, Dr. Hock, I found it. I'm gonna be vegan. People ask me, can I be vegan? Yes, you can. You can be semi-vegan not the true vegan, because you need some animal fat for vitamin B12. So, um, and then vitamin C, all plant and fruits, mostly guava, mango, and um, orange, these top three are vitamin C and have to be fresh and raw. And non go for the fat, low fat. Low fat means high sugar. Low fat doesn't mean anything. Nothing should be exist as a low fat, because fat is the one you need you know, God created us to enjoy. It's a yummy. It gives a double calorie than carbohydrate. But carbohydrate gives you only four calories per, per gram. But fat gives you more than nine calories per gram. So more than double calorie you get from the fat, and fat doing all the function. But carbohydrate, only one function, give you some calorie. Calorie you can get from anywhere. You can get a spinach, you're getting calorie too. But you get a rice, you get calorie, nothing else. But you get a brown rice, you get calorie plus you know, antioxidant plus some fiber. So if you, get, if you like carb, take it, but from the right source. So, and uh, low fat uh, should not, because according to research, low fat is the one, our big problem. Because low fat making people all the disease and making people, low fat doesn't save your artery, doesn't save your heart. Because research doesn't show that there's no connection between fat, heart disease and extra fat. Not even saturated fats. People always ask me in different seminar that how about the trans fat? Trans fat is the one you need more because body cannot make trans fat like coconut oil. Instead of cooking with uh, with a toxic uh, plant, vegetable oil, it's not a vegetable oil. It's a toxic oil. Oil you can take a coconut oil. It's a saturated. That's what you need for you. So for my family, I use coconut oil for everything. For your skin, eating, you get any wound, coconut oil. You burn, coconut oil. You cut, coconut oil. You, you, you're feeling weak, take, my dad came to US, I said, morning and dinner. You have to get two spoon coconut oil. Of course, with cooking as well. And uh, so, this is the, and extra fat, you know, it's called ketosis. Ketosis will help you to protect from the disease, from all kind of disease, you can see, you can see all heart disease, uh, uh, cancer, all kinds of acne, weight loss, everything will be uh, you know, thrived if you use ketosis with the extra fat for calorie instead of uh, carbohydrate for your calorie source.
nowadays many research keep coming out that extra you know fat fatty fatty food is the one helping all the disease free and your artery your spleen artery put some fat if you go to someone or we know that cheese is the one making heart disease actually which is not true because we think that they're making us high cholesterol We think that they are uh, reducing our cholesterol uh, by controlling fat. But cholesterol have nothing to do with our heart disease. And when you're trying to control the cholesterol level, people are getting heart attack. Look at the research. Whenever someone gets heart attack, their cholesterol level is normal. Look at the study and data, what the study is showing. They're controlling cholesterol more and more and more, and they get heart attack. Why? Because cholesterol's job is to heal the artery, to clean the artery, to heal the wound, to detox our brain, producing hormone and, and, and all kinds of, you know, like for instance, you get, you get uh, soda or you get cigarette. One cigarette has 4,000 chemicals. That's making a lot of wound and hole and inflammation and inf uh, infection in your body. Cholesterol go and heal it. When you're controlling cholesterol by not putting enough fat molecule or by statin drug or stuff like that, then your all infection grow and grow and you get ended up get cancer or quickly heart attack. Because how many times have you heard I heard many patients told me the story that doctor told them your blood report, your your cholesterol is normal, go home and relax. Before they go home, on the way they got heart attack because they control cholesterol. We have to get out of this, you know, uh, the, the, the wrong zone. So what do you have to do? You take care of our other part so that heart disease can be healed, cholesterol can help you to be stronger and energetic and clean and good flow of your heart. And look at the cholesterol. We're trying to say LDL is a bad, HDL is a good. This just all because of selling to sell the certain drug. So you have, cholesterol will be balanced as you need. How, how much working you are. The young, strong, working man, his cholesterol can be 400, but the, the man who is, doesn't have anything, you know, retired person, uh, uncle, he, his cholesterol is gonna be 200. It's gonna be balanced by itself. So how about that, if he take cholesterol medication, his cholesterol putting down the 200, he's gonna be very weak right away. He, feel, he will feel that, oh, I'm a dead man. I'm almost, you know, gone. So that's the cholesterol, and that's, in a society, we are in a big, you know, dilemma, and we need to get out of this kind of, you know, uh, the discrepancy. And um, so this heart artery gets some, uh, we know that cholesterol, fat molecule come in and uh, clogging that, which is not, uh, all the research I was showing that, they showed that cholesterol is not the one showing, making a heart disease. So as I've been talking about the fat, so what fat do you need? We need all the fat, egg, meat, and milk, and of course, moderate amount. Fat could not be too much, but part of the food have to be some fat, small, you know, moderate amount. But not the toxic one, okay? This is the toxic, don't take this one. Your fat has to be with the, this one, the right fat, the organic, because this one comes with a load of, it's not a fat. Imagine a chicken, they put it lots of hormone it's like a, right away it becomes you know, uh, five pounds in a 20 days. How come it's the food? Just steroid making it like, a, you know, chicken like a substance. It's not a, it's a, it's a fake. By antibiotic, make it like bumped up and make it to five pounds. How come you expect that chicken is making, giving you protein? So you need to get out of this mistake. And, um, and if you get excess cholesterol or excess fat, you see, carbohydrate will hook you up, hook that cholesterol up, get out of your body, so you're gonna balance as needed. As I said, for, for a retired person, he might be 200. For a strong man, he might be 600. And I, saw, I heard, I saw the data, someone got 600 cholesterol, perfect health, because he's working as a construction worker. That's because he gets too much wound. Too much wound, body's gonna make cholesterol high to heal and make him surviving.
You see, it's body job, not our job, to control the cholesterol, cut down the fat. And healthy fat means this, you know, some avocado, some, you know, some you know, olive oil and coconut oil, nuts and legumes and beans and, you know, all kinds of healthy food I'm talking about. And uh, so it's the way, so, so far I, I said that what to eat and what not to eat in here. So avoid the processed food. Avoid the food is made by human being because we don't know. Summary, look at that carbohydrate source. You can get this plant-based carbohydrate, or you can get, uh, you know, uh, like a, you know, sweet potato. Um, you can get uh, kind of, you know, other carbohydrate too. Rice also good. If you take rice, perfect. If you can take care of rice, you don't, you are not overweight. Of course, you can take rice. And for the protein, you can get legumes and eggs and, you know, uh, wild-caught salmon, wild-caught fish and all kinds of uh, fatty sources you can take uh, moderate amount. But how much water you need to drink? Unlimited. How much plant you can eat? Unlimited. If you give me five bowl of salad, no problem, I can eat it. It's not gonna hurt me. But if you get five bowl of healthy fat, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt. So fat, moderate, but plant and water is gonna be unlimited, should be okay. The third thing I brought for you is body microbiomes. We haven't talked about that in, in the scientific world or medical, medical clinics. Because as I said, Mr. Zaid, he has a 10 trillion cell, right? According to nature research, he, a person has a 10 trillion cell, he has a 600 trillion bacteria. Imagine he has 60 times more bacteria than his own, bacteria, own, his own cell. So what do, they, what, do, what do they do? They do the digestion. They help immune system. They help with the energy, homeostasis level, balancing the hormone. Everything does by those bacteria. You see, those bacteria are working good, they are, we are good. And those bacteria are fed with the fiber and uh, mineral mostly. And they're healthy, they can take care of our system good. Look at that. They're like a, you know, they're like a, you know, community in our human body. Look at this one. They're like a staying in our body. When you sleep, they sleep. When you eat, they eat. But they're taking care of our system. Like when you, when, when you wash our hands with simple a chemical soap, it's gonna kill few, you know, maybe few hundred thousand bacteria get killed by the way. When you put antibiotic, it kills millions of bacteria, and then you get sick. You get all the disease gonna develop. And the research showing that gut flora, how it's beneficial, in you know, a different research came out. I, I'm showing here only one research that I you know, show for the you know, a sake of time. And, um, and those bacteria are being killed because of antibiotic. With the cow and the chicken, they get big chicken, big, they're making you know, 800 pound cow they fed with antibiotic. The antibiotic come through cow and milk and cheese. Those antibiotics come through the cheese and milk and, and, and come in and killing our microbiomes. And then we get bloating. Excuse me. We get all kinds of, you know, toxicated, toxicity buildup. And when toxicity, and then according to our National Health Institute, Seven, more than 70% antibiotic goes to non-therapeutic purpose. Not the antibiotic should be the when people get severe infection. We need it. So I'm not against the medical system. We need medical system. We need clinic. We have to go, someone get hit. What are you gonna do? You cannot put him you know turmeric right away. He can do, but right away he needs surgery. He need you know take care of his own emergency. emergency. You need emergency clinic. You need um, antibiotic. But what happened, more than 70% antibiotic being used for cow and, and chicken and the animal that we're trusting for our protein. And that antibiotic we are getting and we are killing our microbiomes. And when they get killed, when, antibi when microbiome get killed, bacteria die off, that body build toxicity. And that shows up in our tongue in different types of tongue showing different types of disease that develop. Because when you go to the doctor, uh, have you heard 
sometimes that someone got you know sick, they go to the doctor. Doctor say, mm -hmm, you are good, your body is functioning well. No, uh, nothing report comes out in the report, but you're sick. So that's the science we need to go back and find science, which is telling us that tongue, by nail, by face, all the mark can tell you what kind of disease that you have, what kind of organ are functioning or not functioning and to need help. And digestion is the fourth thing you need to be careful. Because we are thinking we are digesting food, right? Um, putting the tummy digested can I give you energy. It's not. Digestion starts from the mouth. So if I tell you that get a lemon, close your eyes, get exp start experimenting, close your eyes, cut a lemon into the pieces, squish in a cup, and drink it. How are you feeling? Watery in your mouth, Shiva? Little bit watery? Yeah. Because feelings helps, feelings is the one that starts the digestion. When you think about the lemon, my, water, my saliva comes out. You see, my, my gland secreting the enzyme to digest that food. When you're fighting with someone and eating, your body is taking care of the fight. Your body cannot digest your food. When you are in emotional stress, you cannot digest your food because because body is not that mood. So to relax, calm, we have to be you know in a in a, in a thankful environment and chew food properly. Think about that you are enjoying the good food, and then food will going to be start digestion from the mouth and here. That way we quickly sw swallow the food. It's not going to work. That we're getting food, we don't get the nutrient. So minimum 50 times you try to chew, make it liquid, and then swallow. I feel embarrassed when I go somewhere to party to eat, because everybody is eating I'm, as if like, you know, I'm eating like, I eat more than other people, because I'm healthy, I can eat. Mm -hmm. So everybody swallow, everybody eating swallow down, I'm s sitting with my plate. So do the practice, be, be shame on yourself, that's fine. So take time and bite and, and then chew properly and then swallow. You'll see how different you feel. And minimum 50 times, okay? Yes? Okay, thank you. Yeah, but more, better you do, like, do you know Boddo? Boddo ordered his uh, companions that he, cannot, he, he made a rule, by the way, in Buddhism, that he cannot eat food, he cannot swallow food without 100 times chewing. Try 100 times chewing, how amazing you'll feel. But I recommend my patient, like, swallow, uh, uh, like me, I mean, chew 50 times, you know? And then toxicity build up, because how your organ systems are working, a special digestion system, <coughs> doesn't work properly, that toxicity is gonna build up. It's coming, you see healthy nail, and you see the unhealthy nail, if your toxicity build up, body doesn't work properly, you see mineral deficiency, you see all the, uh, you know, body stagnant is called, you see all the autoimmune disease signs, you see, this sign is called, uh, also called malnutrition. You see every color, every single stretch, every single mark, showing a specific problem. If you go to blood report, blood data doesn't show anything until you are almost almost stage four. You see? Take care of yourself now. And then uh, wait to be healthy. So what do you eat? You need to eat healthy. You need to eat right food. What is the right food? All plant-based legumes. So let me show you the exact color. So you get some, you know, rice is fine, rice, barley, and um, Oatmeal is a great, you know, curb. If you have, if you do not have a health problem, so because pancreas is the one converting the, you know, complex carb. If your pancreas working good, you can add this kind of carb. Otherwise, if you get plant-based carb, and then you get some, you know, uh, fruits and uh, sugar. If you can handle sugar, if you are diabetic, stay away from the sugar for for a while. And then, plant-based is the one you need all the time. Your plate have to be 70% plant, because that is the mineral, that is the fiber. Remember I said, a cell made of protein, mineral, and fat. If you eat a, a spinach, you think it's only, it's only mineral. No, 
It's a plant. It's a living species. It made of protein, mineral, and fat. So all types of nutrient in there. You're taking a broccoli, eating only, oh man, I'm, I need some protein. No, it has more protein. Because broccoli has 49% protein. If you look at the chicken, only 23% protein. What are you gonna choose? Broccoli. Because in addition to protein, you get tons of micronutrient. You see, get all kinds of colorful. So the way I say, more color your, your shopping cart, more healthy you are, okay? And change the color, every different types of fruits and different types of vegetables. That's you're gonna, you, you need. If someone asking me, Dr. Hawk, can I eat, can I take vitamin in a pill? Every vitamin have a multiple types. You cannot make 10 types of vitamin E. Vitamins E about eight types. So you cannot take eight types of vitamin E, but you need all eight types. So change your plan when you're eating to be uh, healthy. And legumes is the one for you, for your all kinds of fat sources and fruits you need for antioxidant, fruits you need for the fiber, and Look at the, our animal species. Look at the big, you know, all the you know, elephant. Do you think elephant get a lot of fat, a lot of protein to get big muscle? You see horse is so strong because they get a lot of chicken? No, plant. One of the, someone asking me, how come cow have fat? They don't eat fat. I said, you got, you, you got your answer already. That means fat doesn't come from the fat. fat our, that means fat is everywhere. Plant has a fat. That's why he, cow getting fat. He was asking about the cow. How come cow have a lot of fat? He was so curious to know. Because everything has a fat that you're eating. And fat is not coming from the fat. Fat coming from the sugar. Excess sugar convert into the fat. You see? Fat is not, cheese is not going to make you, you know, fatty molecule. So fat cell developing when you have insulin resistant. When you're insulin resistant, your sugar, energy, and calories convert into the fat. You see? So look at the Mr. Frank. He was a very strong man. He said as soon as he started eating plant, he became stronger. Look at the Serena Williams. She's 20 years, she's plant-based whole food diet. And as soon as she said, as soon as she started eating plant, she became healthier. Any types of um, science research, you can see meat, you need minimum, like scientifically, you get eight ounce meat per day you can consume. And we're taking eight ounce per meal. Forget about per week. Eight ounces is about half pound, huh? Yes. So per week, not per day, not yeah. per meal. Week. Per week. But we're trying to get per meal in the breakfast eight ounce. So you're gonna need to be careful. And then all, look at the world champion. They eat, they like plant-based. Look at the uh, Mr. Tom Brady. Have you heard his name, Shiva? Tom Brady, he's a five-time Super Bowl champion. In his that age, nobody can be champion. He still became champion fifth time. And he said, what are the magic, no, magic you know, things? He said, plant. He said, plant is the one magic. He's staying still strong and healthy, stay again champion the fifth time because he's a whole based, plant-based. And we might think he eat a lot of cheese and meat, right? Or protein shake or protein powder, no powder all plant. And he was showing in his face and then how, what his daughter is. Look at his daughter uh, here. His daughter know or, or taught her only how to eat a green smoothie. And our kids wake up in the morning, we offer waffle and, and parota and bread and it's a, it's a, they should call out against ourselves. You're killing me. Your kids should be called out against us. That you're killing me with the sugar. And not only that, baby born, we welcome with the sugar. We welcome with the sugary you know, formula. So we should understand that. And sugar is very dangerous, especially synthetic one for the young folks, young baby. So, and now let's move on to the health problem. If you have a health problem, what do you do? Take you to the doctor, get a medicine. That's what we do, right? So all medicine, pill is the solution. It's a magic pill, eat it, it's gonna, you're gonna be fine. But understand that this magic pill is, is not touching, it's not going to a disease. 
This is, is something like um, you can see a sign, but problem is inside. So uh, this, the, one of the jokes, I always say that someone looking for his key that he lost in the street. And then he went, to the, went back to the street to find his key. And he, lo he, he looking on the top of the lamp. And his friends passing by, hey, what are you doing here? What are you looking at the lamp? He said, I lost my key. Then why are you looking at the top of the lamp? He said, light is there. He lost his key on the street, he finding on the top of the lamp because light is there. So you're looking at the lamp, or you're looking at the light. So disease is like a symptom. Problem is the organ problem. Some organ is not functioning. For instance, someone get diabetes, for instance. And so pancreas, under the, this is, this is our liver, uh, this, is, this is liver, this is our uh, stomach. Under the stomach, there's a tiny magic organ called pancreas. When pancreas is not converting sugar into calorie, you get diabetes. Now all the, you know, more than $300 billion we spent per year in the United States to kill, to heal, to take care of the diabetes. Because only controlling the sugar, instead of supporting the pancreas who is not able to process the sugar. We need to support the pancreas to heal that problem. We ended up, we never get out of the diabetes. So that is the problem, we have to look at, the, look at the, this uh, cartoon. Shiva, what is telling you? <coughs> Lots of water coming up, and what people doing? They're mopping, so they can, they're doing good job, right? No, why not? Why not, bro? The faucet is on, and then water is coming, and they keep mopping the floor. They keep getting diabetes medication to the, to the sugar, they're not looking at the pancreas, they're not the one functioning to take care of the sugar. They're thinking cheese is the one causing the heart disease, they're controlling the cheese and you know, pushing your heart to flow better instead of what stopping the arteries, plastic, sodium ascorbate, MSG, they don't look at that part. So they are not con we are not controlling the faucet of diabetes and heart disease, but we are mopping the floor of sugar and you know, fatty molecule and cholesterol. And if you go back that, solution is plant-based food, a lot of times, because plant-based is a solution for the many times. Because why? Because every plant have a specific chemical. And they, are go, they go by head to head. Research showing that every food have a specific chemical that work better and faster and, and then true cure of the disease when you get plant-based medicine. So, um, for instance, if you like to get protein, get a plant-based protein, that's gonna heal your disease. Look at that, every plant have a specific type of ingredient that can heal a specific disease. Look at this one. Every color shows a specific you know, chemical they carry, not one, thousands. We don't have the blueprint of that, but it does work, and that heal our disease. And, and so, and that can, strong our immune system. Immune system is like, like a country um, defense system, like an army, navy, and, and marine. They're the one taking care of our body. And how? By plant-based whole food diet can make your immune system stronger. And then, I have a heart, you have a gastric problem? No problem, put some acid in there. And gastric problem will go away. Because if you go to the medical clinic, they will go, they will tell you, hey, you have too much acid, put in acid. Actually, acid gastric means you have a you have a sphincter. You see the sphincter is getting loose, lack of acid, and it comes out. Gas comes out, and we thought it's too much gas. Actually, sphincter get loose by lack of acid. By putting some acid, I have a seven step how to get out of this you know acid problem. And you can just follow step by step, eating right, and the probiotic and fasting and exercise and you can get out of it. How about the diabetes? <clears throat> As I said, diabetes, only sugar problem. Not only that, it has uh, some other things involved, body is not functioning properly. And body is not functioning properly, what do you need to do? Support that function 
and then diabetes is going to be healed at a certain time and all the research showing that how diabetes can be cured uh, with a plant-based diet and uh, how about the cancer likewise if you get a cancer no problem look at the research i have in here cancer cell will die at certain time with a plant-based diet healthy cell will develop cancer cell will die you see and um, likewise allergy and the last is heart disease everybody's scared of right heart disease we are so you know uh, much worried that about our future that currently 50 percent american dying of heart disease we are worried who is going to be heart disease or heart attack in the next day like we've been here for one hour within one hour maybe two, uh, more than 30 people died by this one hour because every 30 seconds two people died in north america out of heart attack or heart disease problem that could be one of us too so what is the heart disease simple artery is not flowing properly why artery is not flowing properly some chemical antibiotic steroid hormone plastic msg monosodium glutamate all the spartan artificial sugar they are they are going and stopping the artery and how can you do that people think in the cholesterol is the cholesterol medication no people dying of heart attack they looked at cholesterol is normal why because that is the problem so uh, this is the problem all processed food and i want to show you a research to get understand how uh, heart disease could be truly fully reversed have you heard his name dr cardwell dr cardwell he said to cleveland medical school medical college that give me most difficult heart disease patient and he got 18 heart disease patient he want to you know study on them and he started study he put it he stopped all the medication put it plant-based whole food diet <clears throat> within a within a within a eight years of the time one patient one patient died and 17 patient fully reversed their heart disease and one patient died because he got old because the age he died and another 17 patient fully reversed their heart disease by eight years and this is the artery you can see artery got clogged here within three weeks he saw artery got clean fully flowing their blood within two weeks that's how plant boost is powerful in this research. And another one is Dr. Dean Ornish. Dean Ornish is the one he took a um, group of patients. 50% he put in plant-based whole food diet. Another 50% he gave American Heart Foundation suggested, you know, some carb, some vegetable, healthy diet, what we think healthy diet is. So-called healthy food. And with a modern medicine. Within a course, within five years of the course, those people who are medicine with a healthy, so-called healthy diet, their heart disease got worse, worse, and worse. The other group who he gave only plant-based without medication, their heart disease, you know, completely, uh, you know, completely cured. They got completely uh, cured. You see, one is this got, you see, um, completely cured. Other one is completely high. It's two opposite direction. So one group, the people who have a high medication, healthy diet, their, their, their heart disease got worse. The group, other 50% people who are given plant-based whole food without any medication, they completely cure of heart disease. So it's a pure, big, you know, controlled research and the, and the big study. That's powerful, you know, plant-based whole food diet is. And <clears throat> So, and of course, you have to change your lifestyle. And Bill Clinton, he got chest pain in 2004 when he was passing by, you know, in the New York street, one of the, he was walking in the street of New York. He got chest pain. He was taken to hospital and he got heart problem. Within a few years, he got quadruple bypass. He got two statins. And he said, he said I want to be grandfather. I want to see my, my grandkids. And he become fully plant-based whole food diet. Look at into the, now, he is a healthy person. He got out of completely all kind of you know heart disease problem.
and so we have to go back to we have to look at that we have to stop the faucet of all the disease then you don't have to mop the floor otherwise you have to keep mopping the floor whole life if you don't stop the faucet that's the key thing you need to remember um, what is the solution the plant based whole food diet and so if you have a health problem how do you diagnose blood report or family cannot see unless you get stage 4 cancer last two weeks i got two patients last uh, one month i can say and then one of them i took other than i could not take it and both of them both of the patient could not survive because they get stage 4 you know uh, brain tumor stage 4 brain cancer they are completely fine they never have any health issue when they came to my clinic i saw that there is stage, there is the see their report that time that person already gone you cannot help that person someone is stage 4 cancer so what do you need to do you need to take care of yourself in advance right now so how do you diagnose in natural medicine in natural medicine we look at the face every single mark telling you every single health connection every single color and every single spot on your nail uh, as well as tongue telling what part of the organ is struggling need to put the support otherwise all of a sudden you know heart attack do you know 50 percent of heart attack come in all of a sudden everything is normal all of a sudden heart attack why because diagnosis is not the you know people disease diagnosed at the last stage problem is inside we have to look at the root causes if you if any if i see any patient in my clinic i actually i get sometimes a lot of you know sometimes call specifically that Dr. Hawk, do you treat diabetes? Do you treat you know, cancer, stress three, cancer, and blah, blah? I say, I do not treat diabetes, I do not treat cancer. I treat root cause of the diabetes, root cause of the cancer, disease go away by itself. So look at the nail, face, and tongue is a combination of diagnosing a person, as well as blood report, of course, blood report in addition. And the feet is another magical organ. Feet telling you what part is stagnant, what part is tingling that tells you what part is of the body is struggling. That's how you give support and you can get back your health. I have another patient, she, uh, she had a cancer. And this cancer patient, uh, she, um, with a seven month, she got out of cancer. She has, a stage, she has a stage four lung cancer. How? Only plant-based whole food. Of course, by support of some organs, the organ is struggling, how much toxicity build up, how much hormone imbalance she has, how much you know, uh, level of you know, mineral deficiency she has. If you look at everything in a whole profile, then support that organ, support that deficiency, or disease is gonna go away. That's how we need to focus, that's how we need to help people to get back their health. And I have a sample in my website, you can go. I have a sample breakfast and you can take, go to my website, you can see many, you know, uh, different types of healthy breakfast, healthy lunch, and healthy dinner, as you saw in here, this is lunch or dinner, and um, so that's in the food that you can carry. As I said, five things you can take from my talk today. First of all, human body regeneration. Second of, uh, essential food. Third, body microbiome. Fourth is, body digestion system is you take care of. Finally, toxicity gonna build up if you don't get the right thing, bad thing will go. Bad, bad heavy metal will grow if you don't have you know, enough microbiome, enough mineral, enough nutrients in your body. And finally, you also can uh, take my course, my online, if you go to my website, uh, org. You go there, you can be certified nutritionist. And for my, from my course, you can be certified nutritionist. Also, American nationally drugless uh, practitioner certified nutritionist you can get. Not only that, my, our institution also offering to you um, national license. You can apply for national license, which you call uh, medical authority. Uh, National Medical Authority, you can get a uh, license after finishing completing your uh, nutrition course. It's going to be one semester long. How long this it's going to be one semester long, fully online. You can take from anywhere, and by one semester, you can be certified 
holistic nutritionist. Help yourself, help your family, help your society, help the world into upper level of development where people are happy and healthy. That's my goal is. And um, so as I said, these five things you follow and five things you can get out of this. Five things I say, eat whole food diet. Take, your, take, take care of your microbiomes, boost up your digestion and take care of your mineral intake and water intake and then eat food as a medicine. If you have a health problem, food, eat food. Or sometimes you have a big problem, then take natural medicine. There should be natural certified, you know, uh, 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 licensed medicine practitioner should be in the city. You can take care of it. You can go to my website. I can, you know, we help people t as well. Uh, that's why I have this many search for you. And thank you, everyone. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me.